So we were approached by this firm that analyzes uh, electrical efficiency of solar power plants, basically. They told us that there is, of course, plenty of software on the market, but they wanted something more precise and something more adjusted to their needs. So we started developing the plugin from scratch. We wanted to have everything in one dialogue so that the user can follow simple steps and define exactly everything they need. First, we set the location where all this is happening. We set the sun properties, we rotate the north direction if we want. Then we can determine an interval we need with the predefined step. So, for example, you can analyze one whole year or more with the step of 5 minutes or 5 seconds if you want. We can then visualize all the sun positions. So for the solar panel, we start from a single point in space and we build the entire panel from scratch. They can then define the width and the length of the module and they can decide on the number of modules and their dispositions. Totally open to your needs or your imagination. The solar modules are combined into closed circuits. We had to enable the user to combine those models in a way that they want to. So the entire panel is divided into so-called strings that you can then observe and analyze separately. So we made the tool so precise that you can analyze which cells on the module are also in shadow and in the light. But nowadays we are working with different types of trackers. So we gave the user the opportunity to choose between different ones. If you choose a vertical one axis tracker, it will rotate around vertical axis with the possibility of being tilted. The horizontal one axis tracker will rotate around the horizontal axis. And there is of course the two axis tracker that rotates around the vertical and horizontal axis in order to stay as perpendicular to the sun as possible. For technical reasons, all these rotations have limits, so we had to insert the possibility for the user to determine the maximum rotation the tracker can perform in all directions. Now we can observe the population of trackers. That's completely up to the user, but the standard option would be just to select all of them. So like in real life, each tracker is a shadow thrower and each tracker is a shadow receiver, so to speak. For the selected trackers to be observed, we enumerate them and we analyze them one at a time. So you analyze one tracker for all the sun positions, then you go to the next one and so on. This process is of course done automatically, just hit start and they will all be examined. When you are concentrated on one tracker, there is no sense in analyzing the ones behind it, toward the north. So we enable the user to determine an angle calculated from the north axis and all the panels above this angle just won't be taken into consideration. You need to find, define a radius around the observed tracker. And all the panels within this radius will throw shadows. So when we combine these two optimizations, we basically have a pie-shaped area. This saves enormous amount of time because trackers outside this pie-shaped area won't have any influence. It's all very nice, of course, when you make a flat field full of panels, but uh, landscapes in real life aren't that perfect. So what we had to do is include terrain in the whole story. And not only the terrain, but any kind of obstacle or immovable object, whether it was a building or a tree, it had to be included. Last but not least, all this is done for electrical engineers, so they don't really care much for visualization and geometrical properties of the shadow. They are much more interested in uh, numbers and percentages. So when they hit the start button, what's important for them is that the algorithm will create a new Excel sheet for each of the observed panels. So at the end, you can basically choose the panel that you want, choose a specific moment in time, and see for each string on that panel what surface or what percentage was in the light and what was in the shadow. Of course, much more interesting is to take entire sheets and make graphs, compare behaviors of different panel configurations, different panel dispositions, different locations, different times of years. For us, it is important that we set the foundation for a very interesting software and we are looking forward to develop it further, of course. We will try to combine it with software that calculates the electrical efficiency and we strongly believe that with our help, the analysis process will be sped up and optimized immensely.